Now, here's a very important part of the training experience. When I teach software, whether it's Illustrator, Photoshop, Studio 3D Studio Max, Final Cut, After Effects, which are all programs that I've been teaching for decades, the most important thing for me as an instructor, software is simply a language. If I was going to teach you French or Spanish or German, which I know very little of all three of those languages, I would have to teach you the root, the verb, the syntax, in order to construct a sentence. Therefore, you can start speaking in paragraphs. Software is a language. You have to understand how the language thinks, what the software needs from you in order to move forward. That type of understanding is unique to my training system because no other instructor teaches that way that I've met, and I've been doing this for 28 years. So I want to involve you in the thinking process. So if you understand how the theme works, it's really simple to comprehend its little nuances and move on to the next step. So once again, Ultimatum is a theme framework, which means it's much more than just a theme. There's a lot more involved. Let's take this one step at a time. So we have our installation in place. So I just want to share with you that if I go to my front end, and now that we're done with the Ultimatum ins installation, I'm just going to take this and I'm going to copy this once again, Command-T, Control-T for Windows, and that will be my front end. Here's my front end, here's my back end. Now it's not looking like much of a website right now, but I do have my basic setup here. Here's my post. I'm gonna take this post, this new post, that's so a little less confusing, and I'm actually gonna delete this. I'm gonna click right there, and based on these choices, right from the ultimatum theme, I'm gonna edit post, and based on these choices, I'm gonna move that to the trash. This is where we're all on the same page. So right now, right out of the box, I just have my hello world for the post and under my pages, I have my sample page and that's what we're gonna stick with right now. Now, a little bit of uh, information about WordPress again. Let's get back to post. Now, notice I threw that in the trash, but it's not really trash because it's still sitting right here. Anything you throw in the trash will not be officially trashed until you actually select it and then based on these choices, delete permanently. If you wanted to restore that, of course, you'd hit restore, but I do want to permanently delete that because I have no use for it. So right now, I just have the one post and the one page inside my WordPress installation. All right, let me share with you what Ultimatum needs from you. So based on these choices, we're going to go to Ultimatum and we're going to go to Templates. Now, if you're watching this inside of your dashboard and you're looking at my training videos, again, you can take notes right inside your dashboard for this particular video, which I suggest you do for what I'm about to explain to you. So here's the hierarchy of the ultimatum theme. It works like this. Theme, child theme. Now, we're not getting into child theme until a couple more videos down the road, but I do want you to comprehend this thought. It's theme, child theme child theme layout layout requires rows rows we require widgets widgets contain content let me review that again so it's theme child theme layouts layouts contain rows columns etc etc more importantly rows rows contain widgets widgets contain content if those things are not in place the theme is not going to work for you Okay. So part of the reason in this basic template, in this basic template, it's a responsive design basic template. And based on these choices, you'll come over here to the right and see that I have a layout. Right? So here is the back end, and we want to make this our front end. So I'm going to go right here and view site. Now, this information is coming from the pre-established default template that ships with Ultimatum. Now, the cool thing about this is I can go right from here because I'm logged in as an admin. I can go right into my layout dashboard. So I'm going to do that. I'm inside Ultimatum. I'm going to go to Edit Layout. And I just want to share with you how it thinks and how it works before we start building layouts and templates from scratch, which we'll do in a subsequent video. As I explained earlier, it's template, child template, layout, layout row, Rows contain widgets, widgets contain content. The content that's going to be served up in a WordPress default loop is post or pages, okay, in this particular case. So this is found under the widget column over here on the right. And there's tons and tons of widgets. We'll talk about more about that in the subsequent video. 
Okay, but notice I also have something called a header. So again, I'm inside the layout. How did I get here? Let's go back again for a second. I'm on the front page. I went to theme management and hit edit layout. Then based on these choices, here's the body of my page. Here's the footer of my page. It doesn't contain anything. And here's the header of my page, similar, similar to an HTML page or similar to writing a letter. Okay. Now, the header information can contain consistent things that you might find in a website, like a menu navigation system. Footer might contain trademark information or even navigation systems from there. But right now, if this information was not here, so what I have here is this is a widget. The widget contains content. If I was to take this right now, and I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to delete that altogether. I'm going to save my layout. And I'm going to go back to the front of my page. You'll now see I have nothing there. Okay. Now you have this information because this information is coming from the header, but I have nothing in the body of my template. So let's go back to there again. Let's go back to theme management, edit layout. And now let's just take that default WordPress default loop widget and drag it back over to the body. Now, in order to do that, I have to have a row. A second ago, I deleted the row. So here's what I want to share with you. It's going to be very frustrating if you try to drag things here because there's no place to put them. Okay. So what I need to do is insert a row. Well, how do I do that? Well, again, software comes down to choices. Since this is in English, if this is in Portuguese, I'd be in some serious problems in trouble here. I don't speak Portuguese. If this is in Russian, the same thing. If you speak English, based on these choices, I'm going to insert a row. And the row that I'm going to insert is a 100% wide row. This is what makes the ultimatum training experience, or I should say the ultimatum theme experience, really cool. Because look, I can insert all these different types of rows into my WordPress installation back end. I'm going to insert, and there is my body. Now again, if I was to publish this, you're still not going to see anything because this needs to contain some kind of widget. The widget that we want to put back in here is a WordPress default loop. I drag it in like so. I save the changes. I go back here to view. And there's my information once again. Okay. Now, part of the reason you're seeing this, because there's different settings in here that you can change, or properties, I should say. So let's get rid of this. This is just a placeholder. So how would I do that? Well, as I just taught you, if I go under Theme Management, Edit Layout, and I, un I drill down on this. So based on these choices, a single post, let's say as an example, let's go back to the front end here for a second. I just want to share with you something. So right now, this is a heading, and this is a heading. If you don't want to see that heading based on these choices, we can say heading title off. I don't want to see a placeholder, and I don't want to see an image. So I come down here to the bottom. I save the changes. I scroll up to the top. I save the layout. So therefore, if I come back and hit the refresh screen, you're going to see the information is no longer there. Actually, my humble apologies, my, my mistake on that. A page would hide the title of a page. This is a post. Now, what you're seeing here is a link to that post. So let me share with you something very valuable. If I click on the link to that post, you're going to see this information, which enables people to write comments. So how do I get rid of the comments? Very simply. I can go back to my dashboard, and based on these choices, if I go to post here, the only post I have is my whole world. Very important step here. If I click here, there's no place to hide the comments. You have to do that. Let's hit the back button. You have to do that under quick edit. Based on these choices, I don't want to post comments, and I don't want to allow pings. I update that. So therefore, if I go back to the page, you will see, if I go view this page, you will see that I can no longer create a comment. And that's the basic understanding of working with the ultimatum theme. Now, of course, we're going to do a lot more inviting cool things with our ultimatum theme. Namely, we want to put a slideshow in. So I'm going to share with you in our next video how to put in a slideshow. But actually, before we do that, I'm going to share with you a really cool plugin called Example Content. So rather than type in a bunch of X's and O's or copy and paste from a website, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite plugins called WP Example Content. So stay tuned.